Hi, I'm Matt Richardson, contributing editor for Make Magazine. We're here at Make Wearables Projects on the Runway. We've got a great selection of DIY and fashionable electronic tech that's all wearable. It's going to be a great show. Well, I, you know, I forgot to come. I was meant to come out wearing these. These are my, this is what I'm wearing. that's wearable here. Let's see. Yeah. So Maze Tech has these nice sunglasses here. Um, this is made by Maze Tech. They're LED sunglasses. There's a kit you can kind of assemble yourself, or you can buy them uh, pre-made like this. So this is my bit of uh, wearable tech for uh, for the show. So. Yeah, I like this. Well, I don't want to distract too much from the whole show, so I will take them off though. All right, so as I said, we have a bunch of designers coming out. And let's just jump right into it, all right? Okay, so the first designer, and, and we're going to see, is Beer J. Ozcon. Let's just come on out and take a look. This skirt features the technology of a navigational instrument and gives the user additional layers of sensing that allow her to find the direction by imitating nature. The garment appropriates the migration method of birds known for being excellent navigators. They have built in a biological compass to tell them which way to fly based on detecting variations in the Earth's magnetic field. So, uh, an EEG sensor on the model uh, is sensing her meditative state. And the more she meditates, or the more meditative she is, the more that the butterfly flutters on the front. Uh, Rupa made these during her master's thesis at NYU's Interactive Telecommunications Program. And Hate Couture is a series of high fashion garments created through analysis of the usage and context of the hate speech on the internet. So here's a case where uh, data was taken and scraped from the internet, places like YouTube and Reddit, and a textile was generated, and then a dress was made out of it. And uh, Poseidon is a 3D printed wearable garment that's composed of movable scales hinged onto a chain mail like layer. Poseidon is made up of more than 600 interconnected components that are printed in one pre-assembled piece, inspired by shark skin denticles. Poseidon resembles a protective exoskeleton that guards the wearer from the elements. Imagined body is a kinetic, wearable piece. It enhances the wearer's body movements to better communicate his or her emotions. The piece utilizes both mechanic mechanics and fashion construction techniques. The mechanics in this piece are tied to the human body's kinesthetic movements. This is a dress that has the um, LED panels in, in the skirt of the dress. Very nice. It's personally very exciting to me to see fabric used as a diffusion medium for LEDs because I think that LEDs themselves are, you know, they're very harsh, bright points of light and uh, fabric like unleashes a lot of possibilities with way you can, ways you can transform and diffuse that light uh, for a lot of cool effects. Um, this is a jacket designed by Som Kong. Um, uh, he's a designer focused on avant-garde fashion. Um, used eight 16 by 16 LED panels and they display these animated patterns. This one kind of has a technological, it has a nod towards the technological in these, don't you think? Yeah, well the textile fabrication is obviously high tech. Using LEDs and conductive thread, Elizabeth inspires her futuristic look with a glow that accents the dancer's movements and flow. As the ballet dancer moves and performs, various elements glow, giving another dimension to their art. It's a smart necklace that works with an iPhone app, and it provides private, in-app, emotional portraits based on function word usage. By borrowing the objective of a diary, we develop, she developed a device that could comb through users' words by passively listening to their speech and generate fully automated scores of their honesty, confidence, and emotional balances. Exposed, what you're seeing here, is a wearable, data-driven sculpture that exposes a person's skin as real-time reflections of the data that the wearer is producing. In the physical realm, we can deliberately control which portions of our bodies are exposed to the world by covering it with clothing. But in the digital realm, we have much less control of what personal aspects we share with the services that connect us. In the digital realm, we are naked and vulnerable. It's a wearable drone that protects against air pollution in the city. It's an oval-shaped drone made from a flexible, flexible plastic lung and contains a small propeller at its base for both flight and air intake. It gently rests on its owner's shoulder while monitoring the air level of pollution nearby. This drone takes on a compact cylindrical form and is made of gold as if it were a highly fashionable piece of jewelry. The drone hooks onto a belt or ne necklace and uses its onboard humidity sensors and a thermometer to signal the exact moment when it needs to protect against solar rays, rain, or snow. It's a wearable drone that facilitates exercise and play in the city. 
The drone is a highly durable sphere with a rugged rubber base and snaps onto a magnetized clip that doubles as a health monitor. Once thrown into the air, Scout's propellers expand and quickly it becomes a fast-paced rock climbing game. The drone projects an interactive interface onto the cliff face and maps out a route that challenges the user's endurance and pace. It's a compass-inspired drone that's made of glass and metal that clicks into acrylic palm strap. The owner instructs the drone where to go via voice control and launches the drone with a click, quick flick of the wrist. After launching, the glass illuminates and rotates within the metal ring. The drone guides its owner through the city by flying several meters ahead until they reach their destination. So another navigational, uh, another navigational drone. This is called Super Feel. And just like our left hemisphere and right hemispheres work together, uh, we want to see what happens when we are coordinating actions with others. The project takes, on, takes small forces from the hands of the participants and then scales them up, creating a stage where air, wind, fog, vibration can affect a crowd. The project features wearable devices and embedded sensors which are worn by users who then use their muscles and body gestures to make the space playable. Thank you so much for coming and checking out our wearables projects on the runway and have a good night. And thank these guys too. Thank you. Thank you.